What's going on everyone, it's Zagig and welcome back to another Roblox video. So today we're playing Blocks Adventures and I've streamed this game before back in 2019 so I'm bringing it back and I'm going to be doing a three star difficulty course. Now these courses are pretty difficult. There are many difficulties as such as the one star, there's also two stars over there and then there are the four stars but I haven't unlocked those because those require 5,000 coins, I only have 3,000, so I'm going to be doing one of these towers. So I guess let's start with the jungle ruins. Let's do just a normal one. Let's go standard. Now I believe I already collected all the... I guess you, like, if you played Mario before, you know what star coins are, and you collect star coins throughout the level. You can see I collected already 8 out of 8. So this level is a little bit difficult because all levels in blocks adventure start with you simply diving down into something like this you have to dive down and avoid most of these obstacles and if you touch them of course you end up dying and even if you touch the platform on the bottom you have to survive the entire fall if you want to get to the next level so let's quickly do this if i don't end up doing this in three tries i'm just going to speed up the video and uh go on from there because i don't want to spend too much time going through this or I'll just end up skipping until I actually end up beating it but I don't think it's too difficult like this this is not the most difficult part of it yet it's just you just have to get through this first before you end up doing the level there we go that right, cool so let's see don't touch the spiky stuff all right fair enough Oh, looks like we ended up touching that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you can collect coins too, but coins are only used to unlock levels and some other stuff. All right, over here, over here, then right there. Okay, have to avoid this. Okay. Here, and then I think I have to I think I have to jump to one of this, because I don't think I can make this jump normally. Now, this course is difficult, not only for the not only for the um the reason that some of the some of the levels are pretty long and you have to, and you have to start way back if you end up losing, but it's also the fact that the levels are hard in general. You can see I, I end up just falling. Let's let's go on the right side actually. See if we see if we can make this an easier time. Yeah. Going on the right side makes it a lot easier. It's one of these vines again. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I just go under this instead of jumping. I couldn't see that because of the angle from when I was looking up top. There we go. Alright, so here, 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 and then go under. Okay, let's see. So we're supposed to jump here and we can't touch the spikes there we go so this so this ground in general is just you can't touch all right i'm going to go through each course at least maybe if i end up failing more than three times then i'm going to end up just uh, speeding it up or generally just um skip to the to when i actually beat it okay It's a little bit tough here, a little bit wobbly, but this is what a three, a three uh, star course looks like. Oh, uh, I can't imagine what the four stars look like, but I'll probably make a video on that when it actually comes out. Okay, there we go. So this one, yeah, it looks like a maze, and you have to. Um, it looks like we have to do this, and then do this. Once this comes through, we have to jump through that. Like that. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to jump over here. And then over here. Once this opens, we have to jump over to here. And then here. And then here afterwards, and then just finish the level. Simple enough. Okay. 
this looks to be a little complicated. But I think I got through the worst of it. So go over here, then jump over here. Okay. Oh, okay, that one, that one gets pretty close. Okay, right there, and there. Okay, so I'm actually going to end up... Ooh, jeez, okay. There we go. Alright, we're almost there though, we're almost there. Okay, where'd I go from here though? We might have to go... Let's see, so we have to get all the way to this side. Let's see. From what it looks like... Oh, whoops, almost uh, tripped there. Okay, it looks like I have to probably go somewhere over here, maybe. Doesn't look like it, actually. Let's think about this. Okay, yeah, this, this, okay, this block ends up pushing me off if I don't act fast. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see now. So then you do that. Then do this. Go all the way over here. Neo this. Oh. Okay, that's, that took a lot longer than I thought. But nothing that we can't complete. Okay, so we can't touch the blades here, otherwise we end up getting slashed. Okay, let me just jump through here. Alright, uh, looks like we go to the right, and then jump on the, I think this is a, I'm not sure what this is, but jump here, here, and then it looks like we're going to have to go straight. Okay. And then this this probably plays out like a uh, it's like a 2D perspective, you know what I mean? Like 2D, it's like 3D, but it's like, but you actually play in 2D. Stuff like that. It's like one of those Mario games, I guess. Yeah. Alright. There we go. And then we go over here, and looks like we jump here and then jump here. And then it looks like this is the end of the level here. So it looks like we can, we're going to have to go through it. I think playing this in first person will actually help a little bit more. Okay. The thing about playing it in first person is that you can't see your feet. So you can't end up, you can end up hitting your feet on, on something. Yeah, you see, I can I can just end up hitting my feet on there because if I switch too quickly, I end up hitting my feet. So I, so I kind of have to move at like at the last second, just before we end up switching. All right, and we ended up clearing it. Not bad. There we go. Pretty easy stuff. Um, well, we're gonna be end up doing we're gonna end up doing the other three star courses later. When I get enough coins, we're, we're going to be end up doing the four star courses. But for right now, that's the end of today's video. So thank for everyone who tuned in today's video. Thank for everyone who liked and subscribed while watching this video. If you uh, if you uh, disliked or unsubscribed, that's fine too. I appreciate the user engagement, but that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream for Sorbers 2 Road to Level 200. Thank you for watching.